Welcome to One Mind Zen. Tonight's Dharma talk is given by Myung Jin and San. The Buddhist sutras are as numerous as the sea is vast, and this causes much concern. Buddhists in the future will have to sort through too many leaves and branches in order to discover the essence. Thence from Zen Master Sosan in uh, Mirror of Zen, which is a great book, by the way. If you haven't read it, do so. There's so many things in it that you hear all the time. It's like, oh, that's where that came from. Ah, interesting. The Buddha obviously passed down the Dharma, taught the Dharma for decades. It evolved, it, it accumulated additional interpretations in, in different ways of putting what's basically the same thing. In, in San, in Korean Zen, we have what's different from um, some other practices in that uh, there's San and Kyo. And San is the meditation side of it, as in San Buddhism, Zen Buddhism. And then Kyo is the doctrinal side. And that involves more of the sutra study, um, discourses, commentaries, uh, things of that nature. And it's said that San is the wordless path to the wordless. The Kyo part of it is the use of words to get to the wordless. Both have the same destination, obviously, the wordless. It said that San is the Buddha's mind and Kyo is the Buddha's words. If you go back in the Zen tradition to the Buddha holding up a flower, Mahakashyapa smiles, and thus began the mind-to-mind -mind transmission of the uh, Zen uh, lineage. It was wordless. Of course, Bimalakirti my favorite layman from the scriptures, he of the sutra of the same name. Uh, he, when asked by Manjushri, okay, here's the setup. Manjushri's with a whole batch of bodhisattvas, monks, and he poses the question to them, essentially, explain non-duality and they all go through these things various and sundry you know explanations you know most of which ended up being dualistic in and of themselves and then he came to vimala kirti the layman And he says, how would you uh, explain non-duality? My screen didn't freeze just then. That's quoting directly from Vimalakirti. He said nothing. Again, we're going toward the wordless. We always hear these things about the 
the great way is beyond uh, words and scriptures. We hear things about um, no mind. We have all of these things that are pointing at the same thing. It's the birthless, deathless, not coming, not going, not green, not yellow, nature of the Dharma. In fact, the Dharma has no nature per se. It's just another set of words we use to try and point at this thing that has no name, no appellation, and so on, as Hui Neng said. So, another little bit from uh, Zen Master Sosan here. However, all of the sutras expounded by the Buddha initially distinguish between the various dharmas and later explain that these dharmas are empty. The teachings of the patriarchs cut off the tracks at the ground of thinking so that the noumenon appears at the mind source. And in this case, tracks, the word tracks, are the words of the patriarchs and thinking refers to the thinking of the student. Again, take that, that diamond sword and slash through it all. Whatever attachment you might have to a sutra or a ceremony or a practice, slash. including Zen practice, including Zen practice rituals, slash, cut them off, put it all down. It's all just fluff. It's the little fluffy, furry things around the outside that make things look appealing. Put it all down. I could hold up what's good here. Oh, like me to... Nobody's smiling. Johnson, are you smiling a little bit? Okay, no mind to mind transmission for you. I, uh, Back in the olden days, when we met in person, uh, we were at this, um, it was like a multi-purpose studio. This, this artist rented out this loft and there were any number of things that happened in it. And One Mind Zen happened to be one of them. And one of the things that was happening in there was apparently yoga. And so there was this big blue Pilates ball. And in the midst of the talk I was giving that night, which was on a similar subject probably, I grabbed the big blue Pilates ball and held it up. And one of the guys like found it hilarious. And then at the end of the evening, I once again held up the big blue Pilates ball, and this time I threw it to him. So we had the big blue Pilates ball to big blue Pilates ball transmission, I guess, in that case, that evening. But the Pilates ball is empty. It has no name, it has no form, it has no uh, appellation. Um, it's just how things are. And how things are isn't reliant upon anything. It's not re reliant upon my vi uh, validation of it, that's for sure. 
The Dharma is the Dharma. Our song practice, our Zen practice, is the wordless practice that leads to the wordless, which is the Dharma, which is awakening. We practice Zen so that, as Sung San said, we try, try, try for 10,000 years, become enlightened, and save all beings. Try, try, try for 10,000 years. No words.